This is a very short video on how to use Google Maps. So let's get started. There are a number of videos out there, but uh, most of them aren't very comprehensive. They just show tiny little bits. This is going to show a lot of it. So this is on a Samsung uh, S3. So I'm going to start Maps. And uh, it's going to zoom in uh, to roughly where I am. I'm out in Chestermere, Alberta right now. Um, I can uh, you'll see along the bottom here, I can search, I can get directions, I can get some local information, or I can add layers. Let's add a layer. So I'm going to go here and add a satellite layer. And there's Chestermere. I'm going to turn that satellite back off. Uh, I'll show you a few other layers as we go. Now let's go to uh, this local set setting. And you can see here, I can click on restaurant. And there's a bunch of restaurants. Boston Pizza, Jovan's, Domino's, yay, all the good places. Uh, Timmy's, uh, what else we have? Anyway, British Isles, Fish and Chips, uh, you know, so on and so forth. You can click on those and get more information, including getting directions. Get reviews, I'm going to click back, I can click on bars, I can click on attractions. That's really not the most interesting. What's really most useful is down at the bottom here, there are services you can click on. So I can click on gas stations, which, you know, if you have a rental car and you're in downtown New York, might be a really handy thing to have. So this will show you where all of the gas stations are. So I'm, let's flip off to the Petrocan here. So I'm just going to click on it, and I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to click on Street View. And that is a very weird angle of our Petrocanada. Um, I can drive down the road just by clicking, and there we go. So I'm going to click back here. Um, not important uh, for the rest of these, just details. Um, but again, these categories at the bottom are potentially very helpful. Okay, so let's get back. I'm going to get uh, out of this local category and just go back to map. That's an important thing. At the top here, there are a number of different things we can look at. Latitude is a uh, tracking mechanism. It lets you uh, see where other people are that are in your group, and um, it's a fun thing to use. Uh, navigation is just that. And I'll show you navigation in another way in just a minute. Um, so let's search. Let's uh, do a search because that's what we're prone to do. I could just type in what I want or I could click the voice command up here. Uh, but I've already typed in Suncor Energy Center. So let's go there. There we are. And let's look at a few mapping features. So I'm going to just keep zooming in here. I could double click as well. And uh, you'll see that the, the actual Suncor Energy Center buildings do come up. Now I can yet again click on it, or I could click Get Directions at the bottom here. And it's going to ask, well, what kind of directions? So say I want to walk because I'm really stupid and that's just something I want to do. I want to walk forever. Click Get Directions at the bottom here. And it will give me walking directions. And that's a long way to go by foot. So I'll click back. Um, I could click uh, Bus as well. I could click Transit and then Get Directions. Uh, and it will give me transit information. Uh, in Calgary, the transit information is very weak. In New York City and other uh, major centers, it is uh, readily available. Uh, if I click this little guy down here, it'll give me turn-by-turn -turn navigation on how to get here, which I'm going to skip to save time. And let's go back. And um, let's go back and do a search again. I'll do go back to the Suncor Energy Center. So there's the Suncor Energy Center. Yet again, I can click on it. And I can go down to here and uh, get a street view. In case you didn't know what the building looked like, and this will take a second and it will come in a little clearer. And I can turn. You can take me down the street. Let me keep turning around. Isn't that pretty? So we can go against the traffic. I'll go towards the traffic here. I'm just going to double click my way down. You can see it'll zoom down. And there's a lovely picture of the bow. I'm going to turn and look at it a little more. This is when it was under construction, of course. Uh, and there are uh, there's the Petrocanada building, or what's now known as the Suncor Energy Center. Let me click back. Okay, so we're back in our base map, and you can see I'm flashing right here. That's roughly where I am. And uh, but now I want to show you a couple of little things. So uh, just to clarify some of the points I made earlier. So let's go search, and let's go to New York City. And that'll flip me all the way over to New York City. And I'm just going to zoom in. I'm just going to keep clicking down and uh, down and down and then I'll just do the pinch and you'll see all of these buildings just show up and you think okay that's kind of neat except I really can't see a whole lot I want to bend it if you use two fingers you can change the perspective and you can see see what I'm doing that pretty nifty huh um, that's that 
So those are the core functions that are available in our friend Google Maps. Very handy if you're traveling. Bye-bye.